this is my little sewing corner. As you can see, it's pretty much got all your necessities, but it's a small little corner and it's kind of just out there. Behind this dress form, I keep all of my thread, which is something that I made myself before those handy little hook versions existed. So I also have a small one of those. And this, this exists. At some point, I have delusions of creating like a sewing crafting room in one of the upstairs rooms, but yeah, that hasn't happened yet. I also like to just kind of sew down where I can generally keep track of what's going on in my house or spend time with people and not be closed away up in my closet um, because I tend to have sewing projects going on pretty much all the time and if I always went to my sewing room to work on my sewing projects, um, my family and friends would probably never see me. So uh, I like having a little kind of uh, area down in a more common room. This room happens to be right next to the kitchen, right by the front door. There's also conveniently a very cozy little fireplace right next door, which is very helpful because this room is also extremely drafty. So during the winter, it's really nice to have that fire smell and sound to keep me company uh, while I'm working. Anyway, so um, as you can see, this horrific uh, iron board lives here because I need an iron board. I don't like having to get a mountain in because the sound of metal scraping is one of my worst sounds in the whole world. And um, it looks pretty awful, especially in the front room of my house where people come in and this is the first room they see and it's like, ooh, art on the walls, antiques, this. <laughs> my goal today is to set up what I like to call a cabinet Murphy bed, aka just a folding working desk that I can fold in and out, um, and have a wool pad that I can put over for when I want to use it for ironing, and if I don't want to use it for ironing and I can use it for other things, um, hopefully it will be a bit more aesthetic, a bit more functional, does not have as much hazard involved as this horrible wire situation hanger thing that I have going on. And also, uh, it has some storage in the background so you can see less of the messy bits that go on with being a continuous seamstress uh, when you first walk into my house, should you ever be a guest here. new area for 
keeping my sewing things and also for ironing and I think it's a lot less janky. It looks a lot more aesthetic and hopefully will be equally as functional, if not more so. I'm really excited to have a cordless iron um, for the first time, so I haven't given it a try yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, the idea of kind of pseudo-Victorian ironing where you put it on the base to warm it up and then you iron it on the base to warm it up. It's kind of the same way the Victorians did it. They just had their hot plate over by their fire, um, which fireplace is right there, so it can give me kind of the same feels with a slightly less danger of me burning down my house, which has been a problem for me. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed kind of coming along with me on my little adventure in recreating my little sewing nook. One of these days I'll actually put together a real crafting room upstairs, but today is not that day.